Uh, I don't I don't even know how to start with this one. Y'all ever been on Amazon just grabbing a few supplies, some things that maybe your local stores don't sell, and you stumble upon some unusual items? It's pretty normal, right? Any of us who are out on eBay, Etsy, it's just the nature of the internet in general. There's lots of weird stuff. A few months ago, I was ordering a bunch of self-watering containers. Those were in a video where I was potting up a bunch of aeroids. And while I was in the process of finding those self-watering containers, I stumbled upon some very odd pottery. Just weird results that weren't self-watering, but they were mixed in with the results for the self-watering containers. And I really wanted them. I don't know why, there's nothing I could do with them. They weren't necessarily pots that spoke to me, like things that I wanted, but they were ridiculous enough that they were things I wanted to share. Just the morbid curiosity got me, and I was like, I need to see these really weird planters in person. Not all of them are weird. Some of them are just, some of them are just, I don't know, kitschy? Is that the word, maybe? So long story short, I put them in a save for later category, made a little shopping list on Amazon, and now that's the new year, went ahead, pulled that trigger, ordered them. So here we are. Let's <laughs> look at some weird pottery. I, there's more, too. This is just part of the pile. I couldn't get them all over here. So this is just, this is just the start. Just the start. And they're not even all here yet. I went ahead and decided to say, forget it. Just film this video. And when the other ones show up, we can talk about those whenever they get here. Some of them are stragglers. They're not going to be here until like February for whatever reason. It's also been long enough that I don't remember what a lot of these are. So it should be a fun surprise. I remember this one. I get too far into this. I should say when it comes to pottery, I'm pretty particular and specific about what I like. So the majority of this, I'm just showing for fun and will more than likely be giving away to friends and family. I don't know. I, there's maybe a couple of these that I might want to keep, but the rest of them, you're probably not going to see them again. So it's not like I'm going to be planting them up. We're just going to enjoy them momentarily. Maybe you'll like them. I say weird. That's subjective, right? Although there are a couple in here that I don't, I don't understand why they exist. Oh, this is cute. This isn't one of those. Look at that. <laughs> Try that again. Pretend it didn't happen. It's a boom box. It's a drainage hole and it came with a plug. Those are the things that I'm a stickler about with pottery. It's not just how they look. I really get annoyed when pots don't have holes in them. This is, it's just, that could be fun. Was just a random bunch of succulents or some cactus. Oh, look at that. Antenna and everything. That's, there's no more. So there's not an everything cassette deck. This is actual speaker screen on here. Real wire mesh that's on there. Not entirely sure what else to say about it other than, okay, the handle lift up on there? No, that'd be neat. Not necessary though. The antenna is enough. It really doesn't matter. It's just a boom box planter. Doesn't need to be anything that special going on with it. All right, that would be pretty cute though with some cactus in it, wouldn't it? Some gravel and just a couple tiny, maybe three right on top. I think that'd look pretty cool. Been fun for the desk at work maybe? <laughs> no. I have to remember, I'm not trying to sell y'all on any of these. The whole entire point here is that these, for the most part, don't need to exist. Okay, these are very popular. I'm not going to rag on them because I don't know if it's just uh, something that's popular or if it's based from something cultural, but it's, a, it's this. They're everywhere. I see them on like all the websites now for planters. It's just a lady with a cup some pink lips and she came in various tones. There's an earth tone and there was a darker tone and things there's once a different color mug. She comes in all different positions too. Or there's a better way I could have said that different poses where she said, it doesn't matter. They do different things. Look, there's a photophilum in her head. Forget I said anything weird. That looks cool, doesn't it? Actually, that does look kind of cool. I think that's a good look. She could rock that. I'm gonna keep that in her hair for a while. Okay, this one says McGinnis Face Planter Succulent Cactus. That also said Face Planter Succulent Cactus on it. See what Face Vase Planter looks like. Okay, I thought that may have happened. I ordered two of them. That was a mistake. Hey, this one has a saucer and she looks different. Now she has a blue mug. I don't actually, I don't like this. I don't like that one at all. That's creepy. I do like that it has a saucer. The skin tone creeps me out. I'm not a fan of that. I don't think I intended to order both of those. Pretty sure it's just supposed to be one or the other, but there's a lot going on in that shopping cart. Now I have two of these to 
give to people. That's actually, I'm looking forward to that. I like gifting odd, unique things like these to people. I'm trying to be careful to not like go too hard with some of these being weird because some people might like them and they'll be offended that I said they were weird. But this is, I don't, this is fine. Nothing wrong with her, but the skin tone over here, I don't like it. I'm not sure how it's coming across on camera in person. It's very skin tone and it's making me very uncomfortable. I don't like it at all. I was gonna plop this fern in her head, but she's just a little bit too out there for me. I'm putting her over there, turning her around. No fern for you. I offer something that I think will neutralize the weird cringe feeling I have going on in my stomach right now from that last one. Win a free earthling skin. Okay, so this is like a whole thing. It has a certificate of adoptions. Congratulations, you've adopted an earthling. Here's some important information you should know about your new friend to help you get off on the right foot. Hey there, my name's Char oh, Charlie. Let's have a look at the <laughs> This is so stupid. Anything else in there? No, good. So oh, here it is, it says, hey there, my name is Charlie Light. Charlie enjoys working out at the gym, spicy food and reality TV. Charlie loves having a good time and is the perfect earthling to sing some karaoke with on a Friday night. Charlie's dislikes. Charlie can be a bit of a slob, doesn't like doing dishes, is terrified of spiders, isn't a morning person and is often grumpy until after the first cup of coffee of the day. All right, okay. I just thought it was cute because it had little legs, tiny arms, and it, it <laughs> little face, why is it? Like, why is that face so little? I do remember now there were several to choose from that were kind of doing different things. My favorite one was one that had its legs hanging over like the edge. So it was this tiny face, but it would look like it was sitting on the edge of a shelf or a desk. But that just has terrible idea written all over it. It's going to get knocked off. I wouldn't be happy with having it on the edge. And there's Charlie with a fern in his head. If you wanted an idea of what that would look like with a plant in it. That's cute. I'm going to give it to him. I, I like what they did there with the adoption certificate. This one that's next, I think that it's, this speaks for itself, right? It's a shark planter. I didn't look at the dimensions on these when I ordered them. I was expecting this to be very, very, very small, but this, no, that's just freaking huge and actually kind of sharp. This, this, it's got little fins and great big teeth. Again, I don't know why, but it's apparently something that some people would really like. It's got a hole in the bottom. That's good. I could see myself when I was a kid probably being pretty crazy about this. Okay, that's fun. No, oh, Charlie's got me ruined over here though. I opened this up, took that box apart, expecting there to be a fun little bio written for him, but nope, no luck, just shark planter. Five minutes ago, that would have been enough for me, but this guy's really raised my bar here. Need some kind of description or something. Need to get to know my flower pot. Time to use for the creepy flesh-toned head planter. That works. She can hang out inside the shark mouth. Oh, circling back. Does Charlie? Yes, Charlie has a hole and a plug. I haven't been looking at that with all these. Did do these have holes in them? Yes. There's a hole and a plug inside of the white one, and I assume it would be the same thing for the terrifying flesh-toned one. Yep. She's got a hole in her butt. This better not be another face planter. Oh, I know what this is. I'm saving this one for last. Okay. Load it up with the next round. There's still a lot to go. That's why I haven't been spending too much time on some of these because this, look at what happened. No, this one says face planter. How many face planters did I order? May as well get that over with if it's another creepy face holding up a cup of coffee. See what's going on here. Although, like I said, they came in different poses. So maybe it's one that looks completely different. Oh, and it's by when she's holding a flower pot. I, this, I like this. I like this a lot more than the other one. This is peaceful and serene. I like this one. It's much more earthy and it looks good. I have a friend who loves these planters. So they're gonna be very happy that I ordered three of these because she's gonna be getting all of them. What's cool about this one is you can put two plants in it. So you have a hole up top, you can throw something in, you can put something smaller down below. I, I wish I had some smaller Something's to stick in there. I only brought big plants over here with me, but you could, no, that doesn't work. That's probably the end of the face planters. Okay, this one, it's, it's a box within a box, and that box is also inside of a box. Lots of packaging on this one. Oh yeah, these are cool. There were a lot to choose from. Well, there are like four, I think, of these neat looking animals. This is a rhino. Kind of a baby blue with some gold horns. They have a neat shape to them. No drainage dish. Drainage dish? No drainage hole. That's what I meant to say. Careful with how you water it. There's also an elephant and a lion 
and maybe a giraffe. I can't remember. There's its label. You know, I, as much as I kind of rip on the face planters, I do I recognize the artisticness behind them that some people absolutely love them. I really like this one. That's got some cool shape to it. I do just had a drain and troll, but I could always add one of those on my own. Uh, I will probably be putting a fake plant in here, which I know is a cardinal sin on a plant channel, but that's a gift for someone to put into a nursery for a baby boy. And I don't think they're gonna really feel like taking care of plants in the kid's nursery. So this is just gonna be something with uh, something fun coming out of the top of it. I'll be also gonna order the lion for the nursery, but I saw the baby blue. And it's a rhino. Rhinos are cool, neat animals. Really like that one. I will probably order another one of those for myself in the future. So it's really neat looking. Maybe I'll get all the other animals and can have a whole set. Okay, who's next? This, ha oh, this has stuff in it. It's a nice watercolor. Oh, it's from a studio. Thank you for giving us a new home. Please look after us. Is this gonna be a thing with pottery from now on? This feels like an entire children's book that came with this. Oh, it's just really thick cardstock. How to take care of us. Although my arms are strong, please don't. Oh, we need to pull the pot out. We want to see the pot first. Oh yeah, I remember this one. This is a nice one. Weird, but it's cute. It's a mama pot holding a baby pot. That's all, you, two plants. Came with drainage plugs and extra plugs for the drains. So you can put one plant up top and a little smaller plant up in the little one. And it came with a book. I have to read. Oh, there's gonna be a reading assignment with all these. Thank you for giving us a new home. Please take care of us. I'll take care of us. Although my arms are strong, please don't lift it by the, okay, don't lift it by the arms. Uh-huh, you could break the arms if you lift it, but lift it by the waist. It's okay, all right, I get it. Put it outdoors. Keep it indoors with some sunlight. Excessive sunlight, wind, or high humidity will make us sick. We're domestic pots after all. I don't, I don't, is, what's with the personification? Are little kids buying flower pots a thing? I'm sure that some are. I was into plants when I was a kid, but it almost it feels patronizing to be reading something like this as an adult. Should you be inclined to bathe us, please only use a damp cloth. Other cleaning agents could damage our sensitive skin. Last but not least, thank you for walking us to your family. Your orders and reviews matter. Okay. Just another interesting configuration for pottery. That's the only reason I got this. Okay, that was fun. Didn't need the story, but it was fun. Quite the delicate and high maintenance pot. Wasn't expecting that. No sunlight, nothing. It reminds me, remember like in elementary school, there's always that one kid at all the sleepovers or the parties where it's, they had a lot of rules. There's a very delicate one. So it's like, keep them away from basically everything. Please keep my child in bubble wrap and under supervision. That's that pot. That pot's not gonna get invited to that many sleepovers. Okay, moving on. I'm really excited about this one. I ordered this one a while ago. <laughs> Look at that face. I can already tell you, this one's definitely a keeper. Oh, it came with an S hook and a, another hook to put in the ceiling. That will come in useful because this one I'm opening it slowly so that the sound of the styrofoam doesn't tear everybody's eardrums out. This one is a hanging planter. <laughs> it's the face on a swing with his little chubby legs. I mean, come on. That's freaking adorable, isn't it? I mean, look at that. I, this would, I could have never have had this as a child because I would be standing behind it just smacking it. Like I'm playing a very dangerous game of tetherball with the ceramic planter. <laughs> Don't know why it exists, but I'm obsessed with it. This one came in multiple sizes. There was a large and a small, and there's one that's in one of those basket chairs. I don't remember what are those things called? You know what I'm talking about the chairs that look like a basket, and, but it, it was on a swing. So it's like a swinging disc. But I went with this one. It's the large size. It's on the swing. I don't trust the twine. I never trust twine to hold up. So before I hang that up, I'll probably reinforce it with some like clear heavy duty fishing line. It's the same length as the twine. So hopefully it'll just blend in with it. I absolutely love this because I can guarantee you the next two I don't think I'm going to be a fan of. That doesn't mean that you shouldn't be, to each their own. But just be prepared, okay? Because this one, the others I said were weird and they're not really weird. They're pretty trendy. A lot of people like the face planters and these swinging things that are down there. So I've seen a lot of those. This one I think is for somebody with very specific tastes. You might be wondering why? That's just a toadstool. Toadstools are adorable. Lots of people like these. You throw a fern in there. I mean, come on. That's adorable, right? Yes, that is adorable, but there's another side to this planter and it changes absolutely everything about it. <laughs> Why? Why? 
I don't get it. I have no idea from the back. Cool, I don't mind that. That's a cute pot, but this? No, stop it. Why, why does this exist? What's the, I, like I said, I'm sure there's somebody out there. There has to be, they're selling them. A lot of people have bought them. So there's an appeal. I just, I don't get it. And that's okay, I don't have to get it. But no fern for you either. I get, it's a gift. I cannot wait to give this to someone. I'll throw something really nice and something in the top of it or a tiny little succulent arrangement. I'm gonna make sure that when I give this to that person that I hand it to them like this. And then just wait and see how long it takes them to notice what's going on on the other side. That's cursed, don't even want it in the house. Which, uh, yeah, that fits in with this last one. While I'm saying things like, why does this exist? Oh, just you wait for why does this exist? All kinds of stuff falling out of here. Looks like there's going to be some assembly required with this one. See if y'all are gonna be able to figure it out just from me taking it out of the styrofoam here. We've got a basket made out of some kind of ceramic material. It does have a drainage hole, good on them. Mushroom has drainage holes too, by the way. Toadstool's got one. And then um, there's this side. Oh, and good, it has udders. I was worried that maybe it wouldn't have udders. Now those udders are actually for these poles and they, one of them fell on the ground and I don't know where it went. Okay, all right. Absolutely everything about what I'm doing right now feels very wrong. For the grand <laughs> why? This does not need to exist. There's no, <laughs> what's the, is this from something maybe? From a movie, a cartoon perhaps? I'm not really sure, I don't know. But this is a planter. You can plant things in it. You could put a cactus, maybe a, little African violet, or maybe a little tiny peperomia. I, your planter, you could put whatever you want down there. But I, why would you? No harm in it. Like I said, to each their own. If this is your thing, I, I, I can get it from the perspective of it just being weird. Same thing with the mushroom. If that's the whole objective there is that it's just weird. I, good job. Bravo did something weird. That's very weird. I also, I forgot that I brought this philodendron over here. I could, does that fit in the, nah, not really. Let's <laughs> just have to get by with out having something in there and just imagine that it's been planted up. Uh, these will actually all be getting planted up over the weeks. I'm not going to give someone a planter without a plant in it. Oh, I'll be sure to bring y'all along. Uh, my favorites, as far as ones that I genuinely like and would want to keep. The swinging happy face, for sure. Charlie, Charlie's pretty dope. I like Charlie's backstory. Boombox, that's kind of cool. It's the antenna. The antenna's what sold me on that one. I like the rhino, but that's not for me. That's for someone else. It's for a baby. I'm not gonna keep something that I bought for a baby. It's not, I, the baby can't touch it. Oh, is this dangerous? Should I not? That can't go in a nursery, can it? It's got spiky things on it. Maybe I can keep it, I guess we'll find out. I like this one too. I like that a lot, because I like the concept of it being able to have two plants in it. There's something serene and peaceful about it. The other one, it took up too much space and it was high maintenance, so it's off the desk. I'm actually probably gonna send that one back because it seems like it's potentially maybe very fragile and uh, it's not even supposed to be exposed to very much light. So that's not really something I want to plant up and give to someone. So I'll be sending that one back. But I like the concept of it. A mama pot holding a baby pot. That was neat, that was interesting. Oh, and the shark. I like the shark a lot. It's grown on me since I stuck that lady inside of its mouth. Yeah, I, really, it's just these two. It's a love-hate thing. They're growing on me. The more I look at them and the more weird they are, the more I'm starting to appreciate them. Don't be surprised if they stay hanging around. Not like this though. I don't like the belly grabbing thing. That's gross. Not into it, but would make a funny gift. I can think of people who would like that. I like it when it's just turned around. Comment down below. <laughs> Do you have any favorites? There's still a few more pots coming in the mail that I will want to show. So there will more than likely be a part two to this video. And those pots are, I don't want to say more weird because I don't, I don't know if we can pass this, right? I think that the, the bar's too high for most weird, but uh, some unique and interesting things. Like I said, I'll bring you along when I plant these up and do things with them. Expect to see Charlie and our little swinging friend around for a while. Everything else gonna be coming and going. I just hope everybody's doing well, having a great day, a great life, and everything's just going absolutely beautifully for you. And of course, as always, and most importantly, everybody, keep on growing. Bye bye. You know what? I think I can actually, I, I can fix this. Okay, all right. Yep, 
<laughs> That's better. Fixed it. Pass to smash. <laughs> Look at those eyes. Also, of course, you had to just it had to be done. Went from creeped out and cursed to just, I think I have to keep it. Oh, hold on, did the, oh no. Another update, hadn't noticed this. The thing gave it a butthole. <laughs>